Hey, I'm Nick Smith with ClearPath Training, and I have people ask me all the time, what is ClearPath Training? Well, I'm going to teach you briefly what ClearPath Training is. The first thing is change. We all seek it, and we make promises around it. When you make a promise to change, you look at your goals that you set in 2009. How many of those did you hit? That's a promise to change. A lot of times we don't hit those goals because we allow our old behaviors and habits, and I'm going to write habits here, to dictate and rule our choices. And because our habits dictate our choices, we continue to do what we've always done and nothing changes. So I teach my clients, don't promise to change. You gotta change first so that you can keep your promises. Our behaviors and habits stem from our beliefs. And our beliefs are things that we hold dear. They're important to us and they're different for every person. You've got beliefs about money. You've got beliefs about religion. You've got beliefs about family and friends and all of those things. You create beliefs around every one of these. These are the things that you hold dear, the things that are important to you. These beliefs come from your perspective, which is the way that you see the world. Well, let me change that. It's not the way you see the world. It's the way your mind interprets it. It's the way your mind takes in all the information that's going on around you and supports your beliefs. Your mind will actually interpret all of that information for you so it can make sense of what's going on in the world. Now, this per perspective stems from your history, which is your genetics. That's your conditioning from your parents. That's everything you've ever experienced in your life is part of your, your history. It's also the story that you tell yourself about every outcome that you've ever experienced in your life. An outcome is neutral. An outcome is the only thing in your life that will ever tell you the truth. If you want to know how you're doing, if things are working or if they're not working, look at your outcomes. If you and I were walking down the street today and you said hi to me and I didn't say hi back, what could that mean? It could mean a lot of things. You could make up a million stories that I'm a jerk or I'm something else. The outcome is, is that you said hi and I didn't. Well, it's from this outcome that we create these stories, we judge and we blame, we create our perspective, which dictates our beliefs, which through repetition of our choices creates our habits, so we get stuck in this cycle of creating choices, outcomes, beliefs. Now most of our habits and beliefs, these are our default mode. This is the mode we go back to when we don't know what to do, when we're tired, when things are hard, this is where we go to. So what I do with people is I help them to see where they're truly at, because the only place to change from is if you know where you're truly out, your outcomes. You either have enough money or you don't. You're either fit or you're fat. You're either one thing or you're not. So if your outcomes aren't working for you, it's not the story about why. It's not the economy or so-and-so down the street. It's your outcome that's creating that. So you have the opportunity to make some choices there. What I do with people is I help them create what I call a clear path. Once they've determined where they are, we can figure out where they want to get to. And not the story of where they want to get to, but the actual place that they want to get to. From there, we create a pathway that's unique to the person because everybody's perspective and beliefs are different. Their history is different. And we focus on this side of the screen. We focus on your choices and your outcomes. Because as you make new choices, you create new outcomes. Which, if you get new outcomes, you'll create a new story around that. And if your story changes, your perspective will change. And if your perspective changes, your beliefs will change. And if your beliefs change, through time and repetition, your habits will change. So this is why in Clear Path Training, I don't focus on this side of the screen. And through rep repetition of your choices, you'll create new behaviors and habits. This is how we affect change. Clear Path is not a linear step one, two, three, four. I don't tell you exactly what to do. We go through and we figure out what's going to work for you. Because you're a unique individual, your perspective, your history, your beliefs are going to be different from anybody else's. So I, I work with you to find out your way, your success model, and then we implement that. We take action. We make choices, conscious choices for a long enough period of time that you actually create new subconscious behaviors and habits. So this is ClearPath Training. I'm Nick Smith. Come visit me at clearpathtraining.com.